They hate when you elevate They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate They feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go jamming What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer, and I'm back with another video I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, you already know Turn that bell on, subscribe to the channel By going over, man, and follow me on the Damien Cryer channel right now, guys We are on the road to 100k man i want to say thank you to the 5,000 people who subscribe to me on my new channel this week right here man i really appreciate all the love and support man you guys are so awesome also if you are not following me over on facebook go on over and follow me right now on facebook facebook page is called the crier family we're on the road to 1.3 m's over there probably i would say in another week man so thank you all who went over there and follow me I want to give some words of encouragement, man, before I show you guys what I'm doing today. Um, I'm making, actually, I'm actually, I'm making some beef shrimp tacos today, guys, for the first time. I've never made beef shrimp tacos, so that's what I'm doing today, guys. But I went to Burlington earlier because I needed to upgrade, like, some clothes for, like, the fall change. The fall change is coming, so it was time to get up out, out of shorts and stuff, man, and like get bigger clothes because it's that time of the year that stuff creeps up one minute it's 81 degrees and the next minute it's 44 degrees this is what october 2nd today is october 2nd it might be the third i think it's the second though but um guys some encouraging words man i, I want to just say this man because i've been paying attention to certain stuff i don't get on this app every single day um but i do get on here when i upload videos and like when i read my comments but um if you guys ever in a position to feel like giving up, man, don't give up, man. Don't give up. Don't never give up. If YouTube is something that you want to do, man, don't give up on this, man. I'm going to give you guys a small story real quick, and then I'm going to show you these few outfits that we picked up today. A story happened, you know, a situation happened to me a year or two earlier where the Cryer family really had started going down. You know, I literally gave up on myself. I didn't believe in myself anymore, you know. I started losing subscribers and followers, man. And it's like a lot of people was really rooting that on when it started happening. And, you know, some people was really loving the fact that my numbers was going down and they were boasting about my numbers going down. And it was like they couldn't stop talking about it. So one day I decided, you know, to try something different. I decided to step outside of myself and do some things that I wasn't used to doing. And you know what? I made it work, man. I made it work. I made it work for my other channel, and I made it work for my YouTube channel. I mean, for my Facebook page, man. So don't never give up, man. This ain't bragging, man. This is encouraging, man. When I say that I'm noticing stuff, man, I notice a lot of good content creators. They stop uploading or slow down uploading. Man, the hell with that, man. These people don't pay your bills, man. They don't pay your mortgage. They don't provide for you or your family. The hell with what them people say about you, man. Don't let nobody run you off this platform, bro. Because I'm, I'm going to tell you, if you keep going, you keep working harder, it's going to pay off one day. And one day you're going to be sitting back laughing your butt off. I promise you. Listen to me very carefully. If you work hard, keep putting the work in. Don't give up. One day you're going to be sitting back laughing at everything that they say about you, man. So don't be ready to throw the towel in because people talk about you on this platform. I mean, when you sign up for this app, you know, you're going to be at risk of getting some type of, you know, negativity comments or people talking about you. That's just a part of the process. But what would you rather have? Would you rather have a lot of money and negative comments or would you rather have negative comments and throw your platform away i was once asked a question man and if this don't say enough man i don't know what else i can say to encourage you guys they said oh the crier family went down oh the crier family fell off you know what i continue to upload on this channel several times a week i don't upload every day because as y'all know i got other platforms that i'm on that's very successful but I was always told, what happens if you catch one big fish? If you catch one big fish, 
you're going to eat good, right? <laughs> you catch a big fish, you're going to eat good. Trust me, I know, I'm a fisherman. But what happens if you catch a bunch of small fish? You still going to eat good, right? So don't let nobody discourage you from doing this. I'm saying too many good content creators that got bullied off this platform, walking away from this platform. Don't do it, man. Grind hard, come back. Trust me, you're going to be able to laugh later on. Trust me, if you guys knew what I knew, then y'all will understand. But it's a lot that I can't say, a lot that I'm not going to say. I'm just going to encourage you guys to keep going. Don't give up on this. You guys got into this because y'all know the type of money that you can make off this platform. Y'all know the type of life that this platform can provide for you, man. Like I said, they was laughing at me a year or so ago. Now I'm the one that's laughing straight up. I'm, I mean, I'm the one that's laughing right now. And so I just want to just give you guys that, man. But I'm going to show you guys the little items I went and got today. And then I'm going to show you this food that I'm about to really cook real quick. And we about to get it done. So let's go. So they got these little nice little two-piece sets. These are actually pretty awesome, man. And I try to get the ones. I know they got the hoodies to them. So this is a two-piece set. This is actually, the, I'm trying to, get, I got a glare coming through my window. But these are like little two-piece sets. Um, because most of the stuff that I do have is like little short outfits. And he's going to be growing out of those outfits. And even if he doesn't grow out of them, grow out of them too soon, um, the weather is still for the change. So I like this color, the blue. It got the little dinosaur on the front of it. Um, and it is a 3T, it's still 3T, so much hasn't changed, you know. And right here, y'all know my favorite color is blue. And I think this was actually a three-piece. Yeah, this is like a Lee, not Levi's, but Lee. So this is a three-piece. Yes, this has like the little joggers. This got the little Lee joggers, which is pretty nice. They got the little blue right there. It also has the blue inside the shirt, well, on the shirt, and it also has a gray pocket that actually matches the joggers. And if you flip over to this side, you have the hoodie that actually goes with it, a Lee hoodie. So this is pretty nice. So let's just say it's too hot outside, you know, or it's, or it's warm, but it's a little chilly, and it's too hot for the hoodie. You can just not even rock the hoodie. You can just rock the t-shirt and the sweatpants. I know people wearing sweatpants right now and it's still like 90 degrees. So that's, you know, there's some awesome little outfits right here. This one right here, I figure, you know, since it's so close to Halloween, why not guys? Now, normally around Halloween when people go trick or treating, it's a little chilly outside. So I figured this would be pretty dope, man, for Halloween. It got the little bones and stuff, little small little bones and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool, huh? Comment down below, guys, if you like these little outfits. I think, like I said, I don't know if he's going to actually wear this for Halloween because his mom, at Halloween time, like, she pretty much goes all out when it comes to, like, the Halloween costumes and face masks and stuff. But he could wear this and still wear, like, a face mask with it. Now, this one right here, I love this color. This color jumped out at me, man. I like this color right here. I like this little cream beige color. Has a nice little hoodie. I kind of wish it would have came with a shirt, but... It's all good. I guess you can rock like a little t-shirt with this or something. It's got something on the back of it too. It says true RLGN. Not for sure what the RLGN stands for. If you guys know what the RLGN stands for, comment down below. Because I'm not for sure what it means. Anyway, right here. Oh, we got another. I didn't even realize that he got two Lee outfits. This is another three-piece guy, so check it out. The front of it, you got the dark gray and the green. Again, like the other Lee outfit, it came with a t-shirt. So if it's too hot, you can just rock the t-shirt with the joggers. They got the same colors in it, which is pretty nice. My little man is getting big real fast. So, um, so yeah, so tomorrow we're going to be going out and getting some more items from a different store. We got NBA 1946, another hoodie. You know, I think... Like, this is a really good choice for stuff like this because, say, for instance, like, on, on kids, sometimes when you're in a rush to leave, you know, when you're trying to hurry up, you don't have time to iron clothes out and this and that. You can just throw something on real quick, like, 
this is a real quick outfit to throw on. I think this is the last one. This is number seven. This is like a little two-piece. Your conditioner might be too high. You can just throw this on or whatever. But it's a little jogger, which is pretty cool. I think this, uh, is that Paw Patrol? I think so. Wings, stripes, shields. But anyway, yeah, so that's like, so that's seven little outfits. You know, nothing, nothing fancy. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna be cooking today, guys. I got the shrimp right here on thawing. I'm gonna be actually cutting those shrimps up into little small pieces. I got two packs of ground beef, obviously. I'm gonna just only use one pack of ground beef because that's gonna be way too much ground beef for just me and my little mass. Um, I got a bag of lettuce. I'm too lazy to cut some lettuce up. I got some shredded cheese. I got these jalapeno cheddar taco shells. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, how is that baby going to eat them hot shell, spicy shells? Well, he's not. He's going to be eating soft shells. I got them in the refrigerator. Uh, I got sour cream right here on deck. And I bought some of this salsa. Some of my favorite. This is actually mild. So that's what we're going to be eating, guys. I got the cutting board right here. So I better like, you know, cut my little shrimp up, lay them out, cut them up in nice little sections and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna try to get this done while my little man is taking a little nap. And I'm gonna actually do the video for you guys of me um, cutting every, like cutting the shrimp up and mixing everything. But what I'm gonna do, the shrimp, when you buy these, let me show you guys something. These shrimps. Oh, ooh, I had ground beef and didn't even realize it, guys. These shrimps right here are already cooked shrimp. They're already cooked when you, well, the ones I buy in the bag, they're already pre-cooked. Pre so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in here somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the ground beef on first. You know what, I may just cook both packs because this ground beef, like you guys know when you're cooking it, it shrinks up. So I'm gonna go ahead and then cook both packs. Uh, but I'm going to actually cook the meat first, the uh, ground beef first. Then I'm going to dice the shrimp up and put it in the ground beef and add it since the shrimp is already pre-cooked. And I'm going to make you guys some shrimp and uh, ground beef tacos. And I don't think I've ever, ever had tacos like this. So being that I went to the store, I'm really hoping when I look in these cabinets that I got taco seasoning because that's something I did not get was taco seasoning. Okay, guys, so I have the ground beef, the ground beef on right now. And I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven shrimp. I'm just using like what I had left in one bag. You guys can use three or four shrimp, five shrimp. It's all up to you. So the first thing I do is I'm just going to take the tail off because I don't find it necessary at all for me to use the shell for the beef shrimp tacos. So he's gonna take these off and set them to the side. And this is a real easy process, guys. This whole meal from beginning to end with the ground beef, um, that doesn't take long to cook at all. And being that I bought the lettuce already shredded and I've already got the cheese that's obviously shredded as well. Everything else is pretty much easy. So the shrimps, you can cut your shrimps any way you want. But because I'm putting these in ground beef, I'm gonna dice these shrimp kind of small. That way they blend right in with the ground beef. I'm gonna cut these up really good. By the way, guys, before I cut the camera off earlier, I did say I was hoping I had taco seasoning. I looked in the cabinet and I had two bags of taco seasoning mix, which is really good. So I'm gonna cut these up kind of quick so I can get the water drained, I mean get this uh, oil drained off of the ground beef. The ground beef has been on for, for a little bit now. So again, these shrimps are already pre-cooked. When you buy them, they're already pre-cooked. One thing that you wanna watch for is this area right here. If you see black stuff right here, that's the boo-boo in the shrimp. It means that they didn't clean it. So you wanna take your thumb and run it along there and clean it. Even though these are cleaned, they cleaned all the boo-boo out of it, you still have to check them just to make sure. I mean, if you eat a little bit of it and it gets, you know, it's not gonna kill you. I'm sure that we done eaten things worse than that. Someone once asked me, have I ever ate a fly? 
And I told them, hell no. And they told me I was a liar. And I said, well, how are you going to tell me I'm a liar? I know what I've eaten and what I haven't eaten. But they said, statistically speaking, everyone eats a bug multiple times a year. They just don't know it. Whether it's in a salad, food, or you yawning and it flies into your mouth, or if you're snoring, it crawls into your mouth while you sleep. So when they said that, it didn't make sense at the time. But after I thought about it for a while, it actually does make sense. So I guess we've all eaten something that we would never see ourselves ingesting or eating. But it happens. So that's that, guys. So we're going to get rid of these little shrimp tails. That's what the little piece of the shrimp looks like. It's all, all ready to go. And yes, those are rinsed off, as you guys seen earlier. Um, they were sitting in water already. This is all ready for me to drain or strain. I'm sorry. Boy, they eat you up on YouTube if you pronounce something wrong. It's, you know, it is what it is. Some people watch videos for certain things. I posted a picture yesterday of myself on Instagram. Really nice picture. Very nice picture. I had on a green shirt and I had on some nice jeans with a little green in them to match. Someone out of over a thousand likes on my photo yesterday. Over a thousand likes in like three hours. And all those comments. One person came in the comment and said, look at this dude looking like And it's like, that's why I say you got certain people who's only watching for certain reasons. And that's really, really sad and pathetic, man. But anyway, the hell with them. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and strain this meat off here, guys. I just wanted you guys to see how I'm going to do this. So, again, I have the shrimp right there. The ground beef right there. I'm going to strain this meat off here. I'm going to put a little bit of water inside this pan after I strain this oil off of here. And I can put my seasoning in there and I'm also going to go ahead and then add my shrimp to it at that time So we're gonna go ahead and get that started right now Okay guys, so I'm back. So right now what I'm doing is I'm straining that extra oil off of my ground beef The less oil that I have on the meat. Um, oh my camera's too close walking up the, the less oil that I have the better it is for me So we have a lot of that oil that's draining off the right down as you guys can see now, everybody has their own technique of how they do stuff. When you're making your own taco salad or your own um, meat, chicken, whatever, you can prep it the way you want. So everybody's a little bit different. So even though that I have a strainer, the straining off the ground beef, what I'm going to still do is I'm going to go ahead, turn on this water, and I'm going to spray my ground beef off to make sure I get all of the oil off of it. If I can't get 100% of all the oil off of it, at best I wanna get most of the oil off of it. I'm just gonna shake it around just like that. Let that run for another, you know, 15, 20 seconds. Like I said, everybody does it different. You know, some people may not agree with how I'm doing mine, but you know, this is how I'm doing it. Um, I'm not trying to have my arteries all clogged up and stuff with all this oil. So now that I got this all rinsed off to my liking, I'm pretty satisfied with it. You can use warm or cold water to rinse it off. It don't matter because it's going right back in the uh, frying pan anyway. Then I have my shrimp. I'm going to take my shrimp and go ahead and drop those right on top of the ground beef. And then we're going to put these right back in the pan. I just cleaned my pan out again uh, to get the extra oil out of my pan. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit. So I have to stir it up all crazy when I get it back in the skillet. Okay, so I got my skillet right here. I have my eye on low, low. I got it on low, low because I'm really not in a rush for this to get done. So I'm gonna take my contents of my strainer and just dump them right in here. Like I said, everybody is different. You can do this any way that you guys choose to do it. So we got that in there. Set that there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have a cup somewhere. I'm gonna use one of these plastic cups that I have in the cabinet. Okay, we're gonna use one of these red plastic cups because I took all the oil out. Now it's time for, I gotta clean my sink out too. I'm gonna fill this cup up all the way up. Mm-hmm. 
all the way up with water. It's gonna be warm or cold water. I'm gonna take that and dump it right over this ground beef and shrimp. The reason for this is because now I'm about to get ready to add my package. Okay, so I have the water in there. I have my um, taco seasoning mix open and I'm just gonna just pour this right over in here. Now, since everything is already cooked, I'm gonna stir this up really good. There we go. We're just gonna go ahead and get this mixed up really good. And again, the ground beef is already cooked. So what I'm gonna do is let this simmer for a while. And I'm gonna know when this is all well mixed because after it simmers in the seasoning, it's gonna, the meat and the shrimp will turn like that orange looking color. It's almost like the, like if you go to Taco Bell and you get a taco or a burrito and you will see like the little juice uh, leaking off the end of the taco or the burrito. It's like an orange film to it. And you would know that it's all mixed. Now, I usually go crazy with lemon pepper because I put lemon pepper on everything. But today I'm not gonna use lemon pepper on my tacos. And my son, my little one, he loves shrimp. As a matter of fact, we had fish last night. I had made catfish fillets last night. And the food that I made for him he didn't even want it. He sat right next to me last night and we tore those fish. We tore that fish up. I actually, I took like three, no, no, I took two of the gigantic, huge fish fillets from Kroger's and I cut them down into little square pieces, almost like catfish nuggets. And we fried that stuff up, man. And I swear we tore it up. Hell, I literally fell asleep before he did last night. And I was dozing, but he ended up falling asleep before me, which was good because we had a very long drive yesterday. So as you guys can see, this is all mixed up really good. And the only thing we have to do now is just let this simmer, man. Once it simmers and gets done, I'm going to make a taco for you guys and I'm going to eat it. And let you guys um, know how it tastes. Again, I've never actually made this one before. Have I made shrimp tacos before? Yes. Have I made steak tacos before? Yes. Have I ever made shrimp and ground beef tacos? Never. So I'm not saying I'm the first one to do this. I'm sure I can find some videos on YouTube of other people making the same dish. They might have did something different, like maybe added onions, which probably wouldn't have been a, a bad idea for me to add onions to mine. But it's not too late now, but I mean, it's gonna take a while for them onions to kind of dissolve. So there it is, guys. I'm just gonna put the lid on there. And zoom this back out. So we're gonna slap the lid back on there and let that just cook for a little bit. And that's what it looks like right now. I can get to cleaning this mess up. I have a little mess now I have to clean up. So I got stuff all over the stove back there. But yeah, that's what it looks like, guys. Okay, guys, just like I said, see how it looks all good and flavored everything is mixed in really good so there's only one thing left to do i'm about to get ready to make my um tacos i've already got i just got my shells out of the oven these things are flaming hot i actually licked my fingers and i'm gonna tell you these things are hot i got my um sour cream open my lettuce after rinse it off real quick and I got my shredded cheese pre-opened and everything ready to go. Um, you guys notice I don't have any tomatoes and stuff like that. I'm not real big on tomatoes right now. Of course, unless they're green tomatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and set my camera up and make a couple of these tacos and do the little taste test for you guys. And if you guys decide to make this dish at home, please tag me in it. Um, if not, just send me an email at black underscore dac2 at yahoo.com let me know that you made it and if you liked it and if it's something that you would recommend to somebody so let me set this up and i'm gonna see you guys in a second so again guys these are the shells these are jalapeno cheddar flavor these is what the box look like guys so we're gonna go ahead and dig right in like everybody else i like to eat my food while it's hot mmm
can actually see the shrimp right there. These are good, man. These are good. Anybody who knocks these tacos, these um, shrimp and beef tacos without trying them yourself, you're doing nothing but hating because these are good. You can't knock something until you try it. These are fire. By the way, I end up using both packs of the ground beef, in case you guys want to know. I, you know, since it was two small packs and I know how ground beef kind of shrinks up when you fry it or when you cook it or whatever. Mm, mm, mm. I'm glad I made these. These shells are fire. You do try these shells right here, these jalapeno cheddar shells, be careful. Don't let the kids eat them unless they like hot, spicy food. I'm actually drinking the wrong thing with these hot shells. I should be drinking water. By the way, you guys notice I got the shells to stand up. I've grown accustomed to buying the stand up shells when you make tacos because I think they should have came out with these shells in the beginning. You know how hard it is to make a taco, land on the side, you gotta stand it up, put everything on it, lay it down and make another one. And then by the time you get to eating them, they're all soggy. Mm, mm, mm. Definitely gonna be eating some more of these later on tonight. Guys, that is it for this video. I wanna say thank you all who took the time out of your day to watch the video, especially if you made it through the whole video, man. Don't forget to like, comment. I know you guys aren't gonna share it. Seems like the only place they share videos that is on Facebook. YouTube people do not share videos, but I want to say thank you for watching. Remember what I said at the beginning of this video, man. You know, stay encouraged, man. Don't be discouraged by the stupid, ignorant stuff that's going on. Don't walk away from your dreams. If this is one of your dreams that you have to become a successful YouTuber, you can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Excuse me. If I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it, man. All it takes is time. Before I started doing this YouTube stuff, a lot of you guys who've been following me for years, y'all know I worked at a steel mill. I worked there for a lot of years. I had a real career um, before YouTube. Um, I worked a lot of hours every day um, on my days off. And even when I got off work, I used to film 15, 20 minute videos, 
two or three o'clock in the morning when I got home, man, because this is what I wanted. I made it happen. I kind of failed in some areas when it came to this channel right here, but the mistakes I made on this channel, I didn't make those mistakes on my other channels. And that's why those other channels are gone because I did not give up. So I'm telling you guys, I'm not asking, I'm telling you, don't give up, man. Don't give up. As soon as things seem like that, that it's getting hard for you, man, you best to believe it's actually getting better for you, man. Storms come and go, man. Three types of storms. One you entering, one you in, and one that you coming out of. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. Gang.